Okay, so today's Sunday, and I'm going out to lunch, but I'm going to uh, visit our bass player, Petros, his bar restaurant that is just two blocks away from my house. And uh, he's, uh, that's been his main business for more than 20 years. And recently he uh, started uh, exploring his cooking uh, abilities. And um, he's been excelling at that. So uh, today he's gonna cook for me. Let's see what he does. Should be interesting. Okay, do you have food? I'm hungry. Yeah, man. What are you gonna? What, gonna, what are you gonna? I have food. I'm gonna cook for you. No? Great, great. What are you gonna cook for me? I, I, maybe I, I was thinking of having a burger today. You feel like you want a burger? Yeah. Because I, I have the best burger in town. I'm telling you. <laughs> While I wait, I'm uh, having a uh, coffee. It's good. A cold espresso. Very, bit, not Greek, but Italian. Yeah. I'm gonna start with the salad. Consider yourself lucky because I'm gonna cook for you. Yes. Everybody says what the brilliant cook I am. <laughs> so we're gonna start with the salad based on the uh, lettuce. Some iceberg and some green, typical brick. I cut the lettuce with the hand, so keep all the healthy stuff, the proteins and stuff, and vitamins and everything. Because they say if you cut it with a knife, the iron don't make a good touch. They say. Some people say, you know. I don't know. So now I'm gonna cut some. Cherry tomatoes, I'm gonna put it in a salad. Some parmesan cheese. I love parmesan. Yeah, man. Usually, in this salad, we, we put the croutons, but because we love Mexican food. We have many stories to tell about it. I'm, I'm thinking to put some tortillas in instead of the croutons. Okay? Are you good idea, with this? Uh, the sauce we're gonna use for this salad is from the garlic with yogurt. And it's I made this stuff and it's really fresh, cool and delicious. You will see my friend, you will see. You're gonna love this salad like your kitas. So. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna use for the salad some bacon. I'm gonna do crispy bacon. Here we have the crispy bacon. Crispy bacon for crispy, beautiful people. Right. Unless you're vegetarian. Yeah. <laughs> I have many options for the vegetarian and vegan people as well here. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we respect everybody and their choice, right? Right. Oh, so you have some vegan dishes yeah, as well? Yeah, yeah. So, hi, how I look? I look like a, a normal cook? Yeah. Or a bass player that tried to cook? I think uh, people can tell us in the comments how you look. In my opinion, you're doing okay. Okay, yes, but you're a friend of mine. <laughs> Like it? Great. And some cherry tomatoes like this. And of course some extra virgin olive oil. Because we are in Greece. You have to man. Yeah man. Brilliant. 
and here you are, your salad. Thank you. Please, so I have ready the your burger here. Okay. And uh, a lot of stuff we do the we do ourselves here. So I'm gonna show you how we caramelize the onion. Uh, do you prefer the cheddar cheese or the smoked typical Greek cheese? I'll go with the cheddar cheese. Typical American. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> because I'm Greek. Yeah. <laughs> And uh, the fire with a little bit of uh, oil, not, not too much, just a bit. So to caramelize the onions, among the onions we're going to use brown sugar and uh, balsamico vinegar. Okay. Must, must be everywhere the fire here, so let's do this. Sugar. Brown sugar. Good song. Yes. I think that song is not about the sugar, eh? No. <laughs> wow. Smells good, man. Do you remember where we had in the world the best burgers together? Burger? Yeah, I mean now you're cooking a burger, so yeah. what do you remember? Yes. Uh, or do you have or some of the best burgers we had yeah. while on tour? I think probably the best in America somewhere. Yes, for sure it's the US, but uh, I, I want to remember the place. The place is somewhere in New York City. Uh, where the grammar scene? Oh the, the, the yeah, venue? But, yeah. If you go out from the main venue to your right and in about a hundred, two hundred uh, meters, you can see Johnny Burger, something like this. It's not a, it's not a chain. Okay. It's a place. Okay. And we had a really, really great, and uh, you know how you use it. We call it here um, dirty. Okay. Yeah. The bromic of us doing Eh, dirty. It's like a strip. <laughs> Yes. Yeah, like a street, street food. Street yeah, food yeah. yeah. It's like a street food, but not. Uh, the bread here, we have a brioche. So, I'm gonna pass your pants through the grill a little bit. Okay, uh, Gus, for your burger, which sauce do you prefer? We have a barbecue sauce. Honey mustard sauce and the blue cheese sauce. Oh, how I, I want this honey mustard. This honey mustard? I love mustard. Yeah. Can, you, can you make a smiley face? Yes, but you lost it. I lost it, I mean, right now. Maybe on the other button. Is it well done? Yeah, I it is. To tell you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah, I, yeah. I, I know, I know what you prefer here. Oh, oh dude, this is cool. This is your burger, yeah. and this is your fries here. And some dip for you. With mayonnaise stuff, you know? Mayo. Mayo, yeah. <laughs> Typical American plate here. Your Burger, and this is your meal for today. Thanks, bro. Nice. Looks great. Let's eat. Yeah, yeah. let's have a seat. So, um, tell me a little bit about this place. I mean, I know the story, but I think, I think uh, our fans or the people that follow us, they don't really know that this is your main business for many, many years. Yeah. And you've been doing parallel careers with music, so... Yeah, this is going... This goes back in 96. 1996, yeah. This is when you opened up? Yeah. It used to be... I remember... It used to be only the first floor. It was, yeah. It was only a cafe, right? This was my place. 
My apartment. This was your apartment. Yeah, yeah. where we stand here right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. We, I don't know, like this, and I, I give uh, some extra space, you know. Yep. But the the previous bar, what, uh, called Emerald Bar. Emerald. Yeah, from the film is a song. And yes, it, was, it has no kitchen like this, but uh, it used to be a typical rock bar. Yeah. And we met in that bar. Actually, this is the place, this, in this bar, I asked him to join Firewind. Yeah, in, yeah. in 2003, probably, yeah. Yes. But we met in that place, down there on this place. Yeah, I think 97? 97. I was only 17 then. Yeah, yeah, I remember you playing guitar, some yeah. Guy Moore songs. Yeah. And you were very young when you opened this too. Yeah, yeah. I, was like, I was like 21 years old. Yeah, man, it's like 20, uh, it's like forever. Yeah, 23, 24 years. Yeah, in the row, in that business. Yeah. yeah. Okay. What does the wet match mean? It's a Greek idiomatic, like it's something like this. I mean, in, in Greek, it's a Tobregmeno Spirito. Yes, Tobregmeno Spirito. That means that it's a. In English, you can see that. A, a, Not the sharpest knife in the city, something like this. It has the, the same meaning. <laughs> For the people that is not uh, really... And don't ask me why, I don't know what I had in mind back then. Maybe some people... Specific, I don't know. Yeah, maybe, yeah, you were thinking of some people. Yeah. And what made some you... Some <laughs> <laughs> Maybe some, let's just say, some people that don't work here anymore. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So, I remember one night we were outside drinking downtown, downtown? And, and my aunt from America, Hi. she's American, yes, she's and she was here and you went up to her and you explained to her, hey, yes, and she told me that in English language it works, hey. and she was like, it works, I can understand, and when she told me this, I decided to put the, the name like this. Wet match. I mean, it's a catchy name from that. <laughs> aunt. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. What's the name? Lisa. Ah, Lisa. My aunt Lisa. Yeah. yeah. It's your fault, Lisa. Yeah. Yeah. Anyways, yeah. man. Well, we're gonna enjoy this burger now. Yes, I wanna tell me. I, I want you to tell me your, you know, <clears throat> if you like it. Okay, I'll tell you right now. About my. If it sucks or if it's great. Yeah. Don't be really strict. Just. Mmm. No, it's great. I've had this burger many times here. Okay, so guys, uh, if you want us to uh, do more episodes like that and uh, have uh, Mr. Chef here cook more dishes, uh, so you can see his uh, little secrets, make sure to leave us a comment. Let us know what you thought about this new episode. And uh, yeah, make sure to. Uh, Share and turn the notifications on. All right. Till next time. Peace. Many delicious recipes to cover for you guys. <laughs>